Hello there, it's Alana Tucky, your favorite statistics instructor. I'm going to show you how to use your calculator to conduct a simple random sample. So let's say here, this is from the notes for the face-to-face um, -face course. We have a listing here of the 50 um, greatest cartoon characters according to CNN. And we want to take a sample of size 10. Alright, so you can see I've got the characters ranked from 1 Bugs Bunny, who's the most awesome, to 50, Tom and Jerry. All right, so I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to press Math, which is over here on the left, the Math button. And you want to move to the right to the Probability menu, P-R-B in the old calculators, and the new calculator system is P-R-O-B, Probability, right? P-R-B or P-R-O-B. Now, the old calculators have just the first seven choices. The new calculator, like this one is, has the eighth choice, which is even nicer. So I'm going to show you both. So let me show you the one that's only available on the old calculators, the TID3s and 84s, but not the newest version, which is Rand Int. So I'm going to pick that. And now in this new operating system, it, it says, what do you want to do? What's your lower? What's your upper? What's your N? So my lower is my lowest value, the one I want to draw from, which would be number one. So I'll say number one, one, enter. My upper is 50, because the highest number was 50. That was Tom and Jerry. And then I tell it how many I want it to choose. Now, you want to be a little bit careful here. You want 10. But if I just do 10, and there happens to be some repeats, that can be tricky. So let me show it to you. 10, enter. And then I go down here, and it's blinking on the paste, so I press enter. And if you have an old calculator in the old operating system, this is what you have to type. So you choose the rand int, and then you do one comma, the comma is above your seven, it's that button right there, is comma, 50, comma, 10, and close your parentheses and press enter. The new operating system takes you through that menu first. So you can see I have 10 numbers here, wonderful, and it looks to me like I was lucky and none of them repeated. Let me do it again. So stat, oh no, sorry, math, go to the right to the probability menu, pick number five. You can actually just press the number five and it'll automatically choose it. One, fifty, ten. Go down to paste, enter, and there you go. Nice. Now sometimes you're going to get repetition. Sometimes it'll do a repeating number. So what you can do is you can choose to pick a larger number than you actually need. So choose like 12 or something. And that way, in case it gives you any repeats, you can just kind of throw out the extras, right? And say, oh, see right there, 14. I don't need two 14, so I'll just do 49, 14, 7, 3, 37, and so on. I'll skip the repeated one. All right, so that's the new operating system. And you can see the old operating system, if you're on that still, where you have to type the commas, 1, 50, 12. Anybody working off an 83, TID3, that's what you'd have to do. Now, the new calculators, which this one is one of them, has an even nicer feature. So let me go back there. So you remember how I had to put in 12 to be able to make sure I had 10 no repeated. Well, if you choose number 8, it's a random integer. So you're going to choose a random integer just like the one above, right? It was picking whole numbers, 1 through 50. So it would take 5 or 7, but it didn't do 7.3, for example. So rand int no repeat means it's going to choose a random integer from 1 to 50. Remember from your algebra class, integers are the whole numbers, right? So 1 to 50, I want 10. Go down to paste enter. And again, this won't be available on old calculators. And there you go. And it will never have a repeat in there. So you don't have to do 12 or anything. It'll just automatically take. So that's how to do rand int no repeat. All right, so let me see. For the online class, let's see. I have this other example, and I think it's an example in the face-to-face -face class too, um, where I have you choosing between 1 and 27. So if you want to do that, you would do clear. All right, math Go to the PRB menu. We'll just do the regular number five. Five. I want to choose one to comma. Oops, oh, my my fault. See, I'm just doing, I'm doing the old school way. One is my first one. Twenty-seven is my second one, and I want three. And go down to paste. Enter. And if I press enter again, it'll do it again. It'll keep picking different numbers. So there you go. That's how to find a random 
sample from um, a numerical list. So it's how to use your calculator to conduct a simple random sample. The advantage to both of these is that you assume you have everybody numbered off. Like in this example, I had 1 to 27, and I just assume I have a class list, I'll number it 1 to 27. For this one, the characters, they were already put in order 1 to 50. All right, I hope that helps. Enjoy your rant in function. And remember, if you've got the old school system, that's okay. You'll just be typing the commas in yourself with the comma button over here, right there. See ya.